In the realm of Zimbabwean politics, CCC leader Nelson Chamisa stands out not only for his political prowess but also for his steadfast faith in God. In a world where political battles are often fought with bullets, Chamisa is making it clear that his arsenal consists of the Bible, not weaponry, to overcome political adversaries. Chamisa's recent statement, shared on a public platform, resonates with his unshakable reliance on faith. Quoting from 1 Chronicles 29 verses 11 to 13, he emphasizes the greatness, power, and glory that belong to the divine. The passage reflects Chamisa's acknowledgement that ultimate authority lies in the hands of a higher power, transcending the tumultuous landscape of politics. Chamisa's statement, a testament to faith. Unto God be the glory and honor. Yours, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the splendor and the majesty. For everything in heaven and on earth belongs to you. In your hands are power and might to exalt and give strength to all to make anyone great and powerful. Now therefore, our God, we give you thanks and we praise your glorious name. 1 Chronicles 29 verses 11 to 13 Blessed Sabbath. Hashtag Goddess in it. This statement not only reveals Chamisa's deep spiritual conviction, but also signifies his commitment to a non-violent approach in achieving political goals. Choosing the Bible over the bullet, he advocates for a transformative path guided by faith, gratitude, and praise. Political transformation through faith. Chamisa's faith-driven approach challenges the conventional norms of political maneuvering. By emphasizing divine strength and exaltation, he signals a departure from strategies rooted in aggression and force. This commitment to peaceful and faith-driven politics raises intriguing questions about the intersection of spirituality and governance. As Zimbabwe observes this unique blend of political leadership and unwavering faith, the spotlight remains on Nelson Chamisa's journey, showcasing an alternative narrative that seeks to inspire change through the power of faith rather than the force of arms.